Christ, tied to a marble column, is being whipped by one soldier and held still by another, while Pontius Pilate and another figure look on. In the foreground to the right, three men in fine robes appear to be discussing the event. What takes my attention is that this moment of barbarity is depicted with the minimum of drama. Everything in the picture is subordinated to the mathematics of the space in which the figures stand. The lines of the vanishing points converge on Christ and the soldier whose arm is superimposed on the column which is in our direct line of vision. If we look at the height of Christ, we discover that this measurement is used as a standard across the picture. His height equals the distance to Pilate on the left and the group of figures on the right. Twice Christ's height equals the width of the columned loggia in which he is being whipped and the width of the space occupied by the three figures on the right. Three times his height equals the height of the entire picture, and so on. The world we see is governed by immutable laws of perspective and vision, and within that framework, Christ is the measure of all things. There is no Caravaggio-esque display of emotion. All is still. All is perfect. Nothing can be changed. This moment is happening, and the universe will still exist after it has passed. For a devout Christian like Piero, it's a strange way to tell the story. But no other artist saw the beauty of mathematics as much as he did. And, after all, there is a spiritual dimension to that, too. God created the laws of the universe, just as he created Christ and permitted the crucifixion. To Piero... There is perfection in that.